Water Sampling from Microbiology, Minerals and Flow Rate In this video, we'll talk through the steps of taking a water sample for microbiology mineral testing as well as how to measure flow rate. You should read the standard operating procedures, also referred to as SOPs, in addition to watching this video. These are available on our website. For farm assurance schemes, if you are on non-mains water, you are required to test on an annual basis, as close to the source as possible. Analysis should be carried out for coliforms, total viable count, TVC, two days at 37.5 degrees and three days at 22 degrees. If you are also testing for mineral analysis, the standard AHDB panel includes the minerals shown on the screen now. Once you have decided what you are testing for, identify where you are taking samples from using a map of the water system. For more guidance on selecting sampling points, see our written SOPs available on our website. The next step is to contact the testing laboratory to arrange for the bottles to be delivered. It is recommended that three samples are taken at each point and that you also consult your veterinary surgeon or advisor before sampling so they can interpret the results with you. Before you start, you'll need to organise the correct equipment. You will need the items shown on the screen now. Some examples include sterile sample bottles, disposable gloves and labels. Once your bottles have arrived, start by completing a label for each one. It is advised that you don't affix these until after the sample has been taken. However, in order to prevent these bottles being mixed up, you can always mark the lids using a permanent marker. Next, go to your first sampling point. Put on a fresh pair of disposable gloves before you start and remove any obvious contamination, grease, or slime from the nipple or around the area where the sample is to be taken. If dismantling pipework, clean the adjacent pipe first to reduce the risk of dirt and debris contaminating the sample. Once you've done this, spray sodium hypochlorite solution to sterilize these surfaces. You need your sample point to be clean but not disinfected. When the sampling point is sufficiently cleaned, put another pair of fresh gloves on. Run the water for 30 seconds, unscrew and place the cap clean side up on the cleanest convenient surface. Take care not to spill or tip out the fluid from the blue lidded microbiology bottles as this is a preservative. Fill the bottle to 2 cm below the bottle lip, avoiding contact with the tap, pipework or drinker. Once the bottle is filled, screw the cap on tightly and gently invert the bottle three times. Note you only need to invert the microbiology sample bottles. Once all bottles are filled, dry them and affix the labels. You'll need to follow this process for collecting both mineral and microbiology samples at each point. It's important to remember that some analysis is time crucial and samples must reach the laboratories within 24 hours of sampling. Once all of your samples have been taken and labelled correctly, keep them chilled at 3 to 5 degrees Celsius and out of direct sunlight. Once you've received the results from the lab, discuss these with the relevant staff and your veterinary surgeon to see whether any improvements need to be carried out. Not only is sampling for minerals and microbiology important, but checking that pigs are receiving an adequate supply of water is vital. Assessing this means measuring flow rates at the drinker. You can do this with a measuring jug and a stopwatch. Simply time how long it takes to collect 500 millilitres of water in the jug when manually pressing the nipple or valve. Check this result against the legislative requirements and farm assurance standards. For more detailed information on water sampling, see the SOPs on our website and refer to our other publications which cover areas such as infrastructure, 
how to clean your water, and options for administering products such as acids. You can also contact one of the AHDB Environment and Buildings team for more information on water quality and quantity.